Good morning, people. It's Thursday, and you know what time it is. It's encouragement time. It's your boy here, Comic Chat, ready to give you another word of the day, ready to give you another quote of the day. So without further ado, let's go. Good morning, good morning. It's your boy, Comment Chat. And right before we even get into it, you know what I always ask you to do? And that is, you know what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel if this is your first time ever seeing me. Also, hit that notification bell. Click the little word that says all right beside it because I don't want you to miss any material that I upload. Also, give me that thumbs up, the like button. Also, leave me a comment. And last but not least, watch my video in its entirety. That definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm. Now, today's word is something... That if you are a believer, even if you aren't a believer, that it is something that we all have used this word. We all feel this in some shape, form, or fashion. And that word is faith. As you see it right here, boom. Faith is the word of the day. And the definition of faith is, we have two. First definition is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. And definition number two is a strong belief in God or in a doctrine of a religion based on a spiritual apprehension rather than proof. So, that right there is telling you faith. Faith in God, faith in each other, faith in your country, faith in your church, faith in your pastor, faith in your sheriff, faith in your police officers, faith in your doctors, faith in your lawyers, your teachers, all that. In some shape, form, or fashion, we have faith in someone in every capacity, every facet of life. And the quote of the day is, Faith is the strength by which a shattered world shall emerge into light. Faith is the strength by which a shattered world shall emerge into light. And my thoughts on this is, for believers, God tests our faith to make sure we stay in his word and live how he has directed us. For non-believers, God will put us in a situation so you will turn to him and will strengthen your belief and faith in him. No matter how bleak or dark times may get in our lives, Faith is the tool God provides for us to get through those tough times. Faith is the vehicle that God provides to carry us through any climate, terrain, or obstacle that the enemy may use to get us out of that vehicle that God has provided. We know who the enemy is, good old Satan. We must make sure that we stay strapped in and keep our hands at the 9 and 3 on the steering wheel and stay focused in order to get us through the hazards on the roadway of life. Now, having said all that, faith is something, and there is a scripture, it's Matthew uh, 17, 20, 24, and it says, the face of a mother, I'm going to read it to you, for truly I tell you, if you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. Now, I don't know too many people that get that kind of faith. We have faith, but faith enough to move a mountain i know because some of us mind can't even comprehend that if we tell a mountain move it's going to move because it's just something that it's kind of like if you ever watch the return of the jedi if you ever watch um empire strikes back excuse me you ever watch any of the star wars and where yoda is trying to teach luke and he's like i need you to move lift that uh x-wing fighter and he's like it's just too big it's just too big and of course yoda says you don't have enough faith and then Yoda lives, proceeds to lift up the X-Wing out the water and sets it down. And he said, I don't believe it. I can't believe it. And then Yoda says, that's why you fail. So a lot of times that's why we fail. We don't have faith. Our faith is strong, but to a certain limit. Something that our mind can't comprehend. Sometimes we just don't have enough faith. No matter how strong you say you believe in God and no matter how strong you believe in this and that, sometimes our mind is what holds us back. So... We need to try to teach ourselves to get out of that because God can do anything. I remember reading the Bible, and I'm here to tell you, man, the things that God did was, was incredible. Some of the things he did um, that just boggles the mind. But faith is something that we all must have in some, in some shape, form, or capacity in life. We have it. Some faith, some people's faith are, is stronger than others. Some people's faith is not as strong as others, but... If you are a believer, the, the more that you read the Bible and the more you get closer to God and the more you absorb his teachings, your faith is going to get stronger. And you're going to see things in your life. 
Maybe not extraordinary things or miracles. And maybe in some cases, it's going to be ex extraordinary things and miracles. But your faith is going to get stronger. Uh, that, then that's going to carry over to different aspects of your life. The stronger your faith is with God, I think it's going to strengthen your marriage, if you're married. It's going to strengthen your relationship, if you're in a relationship. It's going to strengthen your position at a job, I believe. Because people are going to see that change in you. And they're going to see that you're walking with a new kind of walk, new kind of pep, a new kind of confidence. At church, you're going to be more um, more participating in different church activities. And this all around your life, I think, as your faith gets stronger, if you're a believer in God, it's going to it's going to ooze over into other aspects of your life. And, and it's going to be beneficial in all aspects of your life. It's going to be beneficial. So, like I said, faith is a very, um, it's a very powerful belief in something that we can't necessarily see or touch. But we know, like can't see the wind we know it's there we can feel it and it blows against our skin and some people use that argument about well you believe in god yeah i believe in god because i know um how i felt i know that i've been in situations where there's no way i don't know how i can do it um i don't know how i'm gonna get out this financial jam i don't know how i'm gonna get this or i don't know how i got this promotion i don't know where it is and i know that it is faith that my parents had and they prayed for me i know that now i'm praying for myself I'm a newly Christian, and I know that God can do anything. Now, where we get confused at is that He wants we want Him to do it on our time. It don't always work like that because, for me, <clears throat> I've always wanted to be a lieutenant in patrol. It was always my dream since I saw I become a sergeant. I became a sergeant in 2006 in one of the towns I work in. And my goal was always to be the Lieutenant of Patrol Division, Lieutenant of Patrol Division, Lieutenant of Patrol Division. I've done everything in my power to become a Lieutenant of Patrol Division, but it was always out of my reach. I never could attain that. I've obtained, <coughs> obtained several different um, achievements. I never could obtain that. And so uh, one day, uh, my assistant chief back then, he was like, well, um, Mayor wants you to be an investigator. I'm like, I don't know. Investigator, I don't, I don't know nothing about that, but I knew that a lot of times you got to take something. Um, God closed one door, He opens another. So He closed that door for the lieutenant, but He opened it for an investigator, and that was a good, a good transition for me. It was a good learning experience because I learned a different side, a different aspect of law enforcement, and then that also gave me my, <clears throat> my foundation. I went to another department. I had that background, which I would have never had that as a patrol lieutenant. But now it, it, it had a lot more options for me in a different and a bigger department. Um, fast forward a few years, and a new sheriff comes in. My new boss comes in, and he asked me on one day, I'll never forget this. Um, what do you want to do um, once I come in office? What would you like to do if you had your opportunity? First thing I said, lieutenant or patrol division. That's what I want to be. I want to be on the patrol division. He's like, nah, I'm not going to give you that. So in my mind, I'm saying, well, why in the heck did you ask me what I want to do if you're not going to give it to me? He gave me something even better. Instead of being a lieutenant, I was a captain over several divisions. And, that, and that's, that right there is God. That's faith. That is believing. Um, back then, I wasn't saved. But my parents, they always told us that they prayed for me, me and my, my siblings. And I knew that. I wasn't living right, and I knew that there were some things that I needed to get better at. But I knew that my parents were praying for me, and my parents' um, prayers and grace of God and, and, and His mercy allowed me to get to that position. Because, like I said um, a few days ago on, on my uh, other video about no, God said no to me <clears throat> with the lieutenant position, but He said yes to the captain. I waited, I was patient, my parents prayed, a combination of all that, and I got something even better a few years later than what I even asked for. And that, that's how God works. He may tell you something, he may tell you no now, but guess what? The yes that's coming now later on down the road is going to be even better, but you got to have faith. you got to believe, you got to stay the course. You can't get mad and take your ball and go home. you got to have faith. Faith will get you through things. Fast forward a little bit after that, wasn't even worrying about um, getting promoted. And then <clears throat> I became a major over patrol division. Never even thought about that. Never even thought that could happen, but it happened. 
So, seven or eight years later, I want to be lieutenant over patrol division. God said no, and for whatever reason, he put me in another direction. Then he promoted me over the lieutenant position that I wanted to even a higher position. And then finally, he gave me what I really wanted and what I was asking for, but he made it better. I was two ranks higher than what I wanted to be and over the patrol division, which I'm over now and loving it. So that right there is a testimony, my testimony to God's mercy, God's grace, God showing um, people that, that pray for him or pray to him and believe in him and have faith that he will grant you um, your wants, your desires, but you got to be faithful. And I am going to be as faithful as humanly possible. When I misstep, I'm going to ask for forgiveness. Like my preacher said this past Sunday, I'm going to repent because that is the key. You got to repent. You got to uh, just keep the faith, man. Even though times are going to be hard and there's going to be different seasons, there are going to be seasons when everything's going to go my way. But I know that season is not going to last forever. And then there's going to be seasons when things are not going to go my way. But that is to, to temper me and to make me stronger. So when I get through that rough patch, I'll come out the other side even stronger. But i got to have faith. You have to have faith. In any aspect of your life, you have to have faith. Faith in yourself. Faith in God. Faith in your people. you got to have faith. But first and foremost, you got to have faith in God if you're a believer. And if you're not a believer, then I would strongly suggest that you look into becoming one because it's awesome. So, having said that, those are my words of the day, my quotes of the day, and my little spiel on how I feel about that and my, and my semi-testimony. So I hope that this helps someone. Um, it, 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 what I told you was totally true. That it happened to me. For those of you that know me um, and know me personally, you know that I, you've probably heard this story before and it's not made up. That is what truly happened to me, and I am very thankful for that. So, if you like what I'm saying, if you like this particular video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if this is your first time ever seeing my channel. Please leave me a comment. Your comments mean the world to me. They're, they're my oxygen because I know that if you listen to what I'm saying and I'm touching you on a certain level and you respond back to me, then that makes me feel like I'm, what I'm doing is worthwhile. Even if I don't get a comment, I'm still going to keep doing what I'm doing because I believe I was called to this and I definitely enjoy it and it, it, it makes me happy to try to share some of my wisdom and experiences if it's going to help somebody else out. So, until tomorrow, I want y'all to please take it easy. I want y'all to have a good time. I want y'all to be safe. And as always, I end it. Peace.